find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. And the award goes to this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 123, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom. But before we get into the Oscars in this Meyer, uh, Meyer wow. Bobo of a podcast, that was poorly written. Uh, <laughs> let's find out what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve this week? I gave out the <laughs> lowest score ever. What? For a video game review. What? Ever. Oh, no. Um... Even, an achievement. Uh, even lower than the Kim Kardashian game? Yeah. The Kim, Ka- the Kim Kardashian around. game got a one. Oh, I got a one. Yeah. Yay. This, this game got the Nope Llama. Oh, no. Nope Llama? Nope Llama. Oh, it did get the Nope Llama. <laughs> Holy crap. Llama can't deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Uh, it said nope and bounced out. Wow. Um, oh, wow there it goes. And I restarted uh, Grand Theft Auto. Cool. Five. Cool. But that's about it. Awesome. Sorg, what did you achieve this week? Sir, I got so close to the end of Arkham City. Um, hadn't played it for a while. Uh, I love my save games because when I pick up a game like that, I play in just giant, giant binges. Mm-hmm. And I looked at it and it's like, it was like February, June, December this year of, of playing Arkham City. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm very close to the end. Um, I'm, I think I'm... I'm, I'm uh, I beat Hugo Strange, and then there's something else you have to do. I don't want to spoil, but I, I love it. I love these games, and I'm like, I, I'm so like high on this game. I almost want to go ahead and throw uh, Arkham Origins over on my uh, Windows partition to try to play that too. And I know it's not going to be nearly as good because okay. it's not all the right voices. It's not bad, but I just want to play more Arkham City kind of stuff. It's either that or I go back in Arkham Asylum, but I really shouldn't, and I should play Bioshock Infinite now. Yes, you should, because so. that's one of the best games I've ever created. Yes. Um, also, I'm going to try to play with them. Maybe I'll do something with this. I got a uh, uh, Amazon Fire Stick, and it actually has Android games on it. So, um, like, I don't know how much I can play without the getting the game pad, uh, but I want to see what I can do. There's a couple free ones. There's a couple dollar ones. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, I can maybe report back on on what this thing can do. So, this is like it's forty bucks um, now. Nice. I got it for a deal for twenty for Prime members back in the like a couple months ago. It finally came right, um, so you know maybe looking at that. So nice. Uh, joining us once again, Riz. How you doing, Riz? Hi, Bobby. What did you achieve this week? Um, Riz's camera looks so clear compared to usual. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's crazy. I, and I got like all these books back here. It's amazing. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like you read a lot and play really, really old superhero board games. I do. You um, look like Sasquatch stuck in an eighties. <laughs> Uh, soap opera. <laughs> you just call me what? Sasquatch? <laughs> Sasquatch, yes. Because you're blurry. Come on, Sam Squinch. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, <laughs> um, what I achieved this week, uh, I've been playing so much Assassin's Creed. So much Assassin's Creed. You're talking Unity, right? Unity. Uh, now, for... are the, uh, and I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I haven't talked to anybody a lot about unity are, are the i hear about the, all the problems and the bugs are you finding any that slow you Sorg. down Sorg. yes you know where you can see my review i i, I know but i haven't i want to talk to you to your face uh honestly <laughs> honestly i i posted, I want to read your words yeah i, mean, I posted one words. video on uh, my facebook page uh, about uh, just the really weird scene that happened um and it was just this one guy who I, who I was supposed to, you know, assassinate for, you know, completion of the level. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, the guy just started running on the side of the thing and in, it was in the air and it was freaking me out. But other than that, I did not see the, uh, the, the woman with no face <laughs> or any other, any other bugs so far. Well, guess what, Riz? There was a patch today that fixed all that. Yeah. But it's seven gigabytes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's seven gigabytes. Updates. I, I hated I had a hundred megabyte one before I could watch WB Network for TakeOver. <laughs> yeah. Another um, reason why I have a fire stick. Yeah. 
But other than that, uh, the only game, other game that I have been playing, and you guys should pick it up if it's out there on Steam or if you do have a PlayStation Four, pick it up. Uh, or the, Xbox. The, it's not on Xbox. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Oh yeah, that's on Steam. Who? Who? It's creepy. I should post videos for that one too. Uh, but other than that, that's all I've been playing so far. Awesome. Cool. And I achieved this week. I played some Dragon Age uh, Inquisition. Uh, I asked Liliana to be uh, a romance, and, and she said no. Well, I, no, I asked well, her to be in my party, and she said no. Well, well, well. And and I was very depressed. Uh, uh, but I'm trying to 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 get with Cassandra. <laughs> so Plan I B. Moved on. Plan B, Bobby. Plan B, yes, exactly. But, no, it's a fun game. I died instantly uh, when I fought a dragon. So I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> it was like a one-hit kill. And I played some Tapped Out because there's Christmas le levels now. And you get to open up presents and all that sort of fun stuff. And just, you know, just stuff like that, basically. Uh, and Tony Garza said he finally finished Hotline Miami. So that's cool. Nice. All right. Okay, let's see. What's well, next on the podcast, Bobby? I know. <laughs> our, we're going to move on to our question of the week, which comes from DJ Lunchbox, who should be on the podcast right now. But I know he's listening. Um, he has two questions for us. Okay. Uh, the first question is: Is Dragon Age Inquisition more interest a more interesting Skyrim? Uh, it, it, Riz, it, go ahead. Uh, it's it is more interesting. This it's more interesting than Skyrim. There's more story-wise. Yeah, uh, and that's that's the thing with Bioware games. They are mm -hmm. they are story-based. Uh, granted, those story-based parts all intertwine into one final moment, but they mm -hmm. still get you to that area. Like with Mass Effect, there was that whole whole thing of why do we have why why did we have the thing in you know Mass Effect Two when Mass Effect Three was just I'm just going to destroy all the things. Mm. or, And I'm starting to see that in Inquisition where it, the choices you make will probably benefit in the end. But it, like, like, you, like you said, Lunchbox said that? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, it, it is pretty much just a better Skyrim. I wouldn't say better. better. I would say it, 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 it's would a say different better. game. Um, Skyrim has a lot more to do so far. Um, like it's a new game. Inquisition has a better storyline so far, though, and mm -hmm. it is more immersive as far as story goes. But I like the combat system a little better in Skyrim. But I love both games for what they are. Like I loved Origins for for its combat, and that combat is back in, in Inquisition. So I'm happy with that. But I, I like the uh, hack and slash uh, with uh, Skyrim a little bit better. Chachi, you have anything? Or Sork? Nope. Uh, nope, I haven't played him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought you played right. Skyrim before. I haven't. My brother has. Oh, oh okay. All right, and our second question. Uh, will pay-to-play -play games become more common in the next year, or will they start to die off? Oh. Why did you have to More say common. That? Definitely more, more common. common. Probably Unfortunately, more common. I hope they get I, smarter. I, I feel like there's might be a drop off. Like they have to be smarter to get people uh, on board. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I can't play Tap Down. I'm sorry. I cannot get into that. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chachi. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody else that I'm ruining their their friend town. Oh no, day. I unfollowed and, you, know, you. You know, unfollowed <laughs> me. Chachi <laughs> unfollowed me. Up, I haven't I haven't been on Tapped matter. Out since I stopped being on Tapped Out like months ago. Yeah, uh, I unfollowed you too. Oh, thanks, <laughs> uh, thanks, Chachi. I didn't know you were following me from the beginning. There you so go. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> as he as he sips his Kermit tea. I I think uh, I I hope they go away. They're not. But I I don't think they're going to go away. Uh, I think more and more games will probably uh, get like that. Uh, there was a rumor that Street Fighter Five might become free to play. Oh wow! Which, Ooh. which oh serves you that. right. <laughs> Oh no! Ugh. But no. Uh, yeah, but they said it's, that it, the rumors aren't true. Good. So, yeah. 
Why, why um, would you say Basically, such it would become Killer Instinct because Killer Instinct is basically a free-to-play fighter game where you get one fighter to choose from if, you're, if it's free. But, I mean, they switch it up every once in a while, but yeah. still, it's kind of lame. It's like a demo. It, it, I, <laughs> like an all-time demo, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless you buy the characters, which is kind of crappy. Right, right. So Nobody wants to put video, or money into their video games. Yeah, <laughs> except for when you're a kid at the arcade. All right, um, Chachi, you want to plug our uh, our giveaway before you we go around the net? We have two days left of our Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions giveaway. Two days. Dose. Got to collect them all two before two days. Two days. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, winner will be picked Friday, uh, probably around 8 a.m. when I get around to it. <laughs> um, so you have two days to get your entries in. Two days. So, it's yep. like it's like uh, the the Majora's Mask when the moon is crashing down to Earth. Yep. Two days. Two days. Dun, 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 and then there's a smiley dun, face dun, in, the, in the sky. So you can go over to insertcointobegin.com or click on one of the many many links that we've put out about it. Yeah, yeah. we we did post a lot of links. So, All right, that's the thing. Th- you want to take us around the net now? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Net. Uh, short one this week. Not many things happened. Um, first up, uh, John Romero, mm-hmm. uh, famous for Doom, released a Dropbox link on Twitter of previously unreleased Doom artwork that you can grab. Nice. Oh, I'm uh, grabbing that right is now. The, is, is the rock in it? <laughs> No. What? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I, I put a link over in insertcoinbegin.com to make it easier for you. Um, and I put a, a little nugget from the file in there. It's mostly just uh, raw game data. So definitely fun to look at. Uh, next it looks up, like it was in the, 90s the greatest awesome. modded Nintendo ever. Oh, is yes. Mm-hmm. For I the want next, this. Uh, 67 hours or 47 hours over on <laughs> uh, eBay. Uh, $502. Wow. It's a top loaded Nintendo that has been modded to fit inside of a DeLorean. It the is power. gorgeous, too. It, yeah. it looks the power perfect. of love. Yeah, no, it, I mean, and <laughs> it's not just crammed in there, it is done with care. Uh, Light up LEDs on the controllers and the car. Um, and you can see all the pictures over there uh, through the link. But uh, there is a flex capacitor that I don't actually think does anything. The, the control it, pads are it, weird. It sends yeah. the game back in time. It sends but, you uh, back into the 80s to actually play Nintendo for real. The, the <laughs> control pads look like they were just regular control pads, but with... Just the sticker placed on. I don't know, but they, no, they look even crappier than that. Yeah. So. They look like a tiger version of that. <laughs> they do. Like, it, and I know you're a big tiger fan, so I am it, a big tiger fan, as you can see in the just, studio here. It's it, like, if you go back to that, um, it just looks like that's the only bad part about that whole thing. Other than the controllers, I, I, I will spend my allowance on that game on that console. <laughs> Your allowance. Your allowance. Oh no, the uh, the flex capacitor is the receiver for the wireless controller. Oh, oh okay, functional. Well played. Yes. Well so, played. Huey uh, Lewis would yep. be proud. Five hundred and two dollars. Uh, you have forty-seven hours left. I'm gonna be five hundred one dollars. <laughs> Why? You're no. no. Bad idea. Never mind. Bobby Never mind. I'll lose. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to haggle. <laughs> Um, and last but not least, uh, Patrick Jean over on Daily Motion created a short film called Pixels, and it's uh, classic video games taking over New York. Actually, the news, big news with that is um, they're releasing a, a major motion picture based on that short. Really? Um, yeah, a- Adam Sandler is going to be in it, unfortunately. Oh. Um, but they actually released the posters today. For it. And it's giant Pac-Man, giant Space Invader, and giant something else, well, like attacking a city. Why does Adam Sandler have to be a thing? I, I don't know. Unfortunate. But yeah. 
Uh, because he bought it. That's why. Yeah, yeah. It's being released by Happy Madison Studios, so it's his movie. He'll be in it. So is Peter Dinklage. So you all okay, are going to watch all right. it. Good. Nice. Yeah, okay, now, now you sold me. That yeah, wizard we're... came from the moon. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, Michelle Monaghan, who oh, I don't okay. know who that is. Uh, Heath Ledger's yeah. uh, wife, former wife, I think. No, that's Michelle Williams. Williams. Never mind. Where's she been? Never in? mind. A bunch of stuff that I don't know. True Detective, mm. um, American Dad, hmm. Source Code. I don't. Oh, Source Code. She was good in that. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, her, Peter Dinklage, Adam Sandler, Josh Gad. Oh, I, I just it hope... looks like Kevin James. It looks like a good. Oh. Kevin it's James is always in. Oh, Kevin James. <laughs> always in Adam Sandler movies. No, he he wasn't always in Adam Sandler movies. Yeah. He replaced Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he kind of did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, sadly. What do you mean, sadly? Kevin James is well, hilarious. I, I, no, I, I mean, I mean, I, mean your face. No, I, I love Kevin James. I'm saying, but sadly, because Chris Farley passed away. Right. I yeah, will yeah, punch yeah. you in your like, face, Bobby. Chris Farley is like one of my favorite comedians. So angry. Of all time. Yeah. So. This is this is our last show. Everybody has to be <laughs> happy. 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 Hi. All right. That was terrible. My hi. Hi, everybody. By the but way, that's all I have for you this week. All the art is 11 megabytes. For the yeah. Doom thing. Wow. Yeah. Tremendous. I'm saving it to my so, Dropbox. That is all I have for you this week on video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Back to you, Bobby. All right. It's time for some things we, we should be made aware of. Um, uh, a couple stories this week. Um, Hearthstone is out on Android. Ooh. If you're in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Aww. Yeah. Um, but Blizzard said a full worldwide release is uh, going to roll out in the next coming days. Um, but nice. in terms of requirements, you'll need a tablet with at least a six-inch screen. Nope. Uh, one, one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, one gigabyte of RAM. And yes. uh, Android 4.0 or higher. That is has way to be installed. too much. Um, as for phone owners hoping to be, to be dealt in... Um, Oh, iPhone and Android devices, uh, they said they'll have more news early next year. <laughs> uh, but Play Sports cross-platform play and progress saves, and it also uh, it will have the Goblins vs. Gnomes expansion pack, uh, giving everybody 120 cards to pick up. Huh. Um, you can either craft cards or uh, winning them in the arena and or purchasing it for real-life uh, money, not gold. I mean, you could purchase them with real-life yeah, gold, I but like, I like money. that'd be a waste. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, and Dragon Age Inquisition uh, is getting a free expansion pack. Uh, actually, they released today. They were released today. Uh, Destruction is a free expansion for the game's multiplayer. Um, it adds new paths to existing locations for multiplayer and introduces dangerous new wildlife that can attack you and your enemies. Um, and the other uh, pack that they got is the deluxe upgrade for players who just purchased the standard edition. Um, it costs ten dollars and includes the Flames of Inquisition gear, uh, a Skyhold throne, and a Red Heart Hyla mount and a Bog Unicorn mount. <laughs> uh, and and they also get a uh, multiplayer chest and a digital copy of the game soundtrack. So that that'll be Ooh. fun. I might I might pick that up. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Riz, how about you? You have Dragon Age. I do have Dragon Age, but uh, the free one, yes, maybe not the, exp- the, not the expansion. Not the expansion. Not the not the expansion pack yet, but yeah, yeah, that, that's probably something I'd pick up if I'm like later on in the game, though. Yeah, I'm true. St- yeah, I'm still a noob in the uh, world of Dragon <laughs> Age, so. Me too. If I'm dry- if I'm dying with by one hit of a dragon, so. <laughs> All right, and we got some Capcom news, everybody. Woo, yeah, Capcom. is oh. it better? Capcom held their uh, the uh, Capcom Cup. Uh, who cares? I sure as hell don't. Um, and you're a Capcom fan. Uh, yeah, I was. Well, not oh. anymore since last I week. I was. Um, but no, they no. In, in, in seriousness, um, they showed a live demo of Street Fighter V, and announced a new character who is an old character that's making a return to the series. Charlie is coming back, uh, and he has a more futuristic look look this time. Yeah. Uh, so Charlie. will that play in the storyline or not? If mm. it had a storyline. 
Oh, those, those, you look forward to the Street Fighter storylines, right, Bobby? <laughs> right. Well, right. They have right, they, they have videos at the end. The on, the only one I care about is Street Fighter the movie. Ken had a baby. Oh. That, made, that made me happy. JCVD, come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, before we get to our bossy awards, which is the, the next thing we're going to do here, uh, we have a Lifetime Achievement Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Digital Awesomeness. And we're giving that award to everybody's favorite elf-like creature, Link. Because everybody loves Legend of Zelda. So... Uh, guys, uh, I want to go around and get your impressions on Link. Why do you think he deserves this award? Chachi, we'll start with you since you're a huge Le- Legend of Zelda fan. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I caught you off guard. We're giving a digital creation a Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. Uh, Chachi, it's I think like you... MTV giving the award to Chewbacca for Chachi, Lifetime Achievement Award. Chachi, I think you just need to hold up your one hand and show the Lifetime Achievement Award yeah. you already gave it. I... Here, I, I, I'm just confused. Um, <laughs> Those on audio, he has a tattoo on his arm of a Triforce. Yes. It's just... It, it's kind of like giving the Beastie Boys um, Lifetime oh, Achievement Awards. What? 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 They're real. Before... <laughs> Are they, Bobby? They exist. Are they? No, I mean, no, they, they, I, exist. they exist. But they were given the awards before they were done. Oh, true. Like, they released, like, four albums after they received the Lifetime Achievement Awards. It's been around for a long time, though. It's it's okay. I could have gave it to Mario, but that's cliche. No, what I'm saying is... (laughs) Link's lifetime isn't over yet. True, true. So, I mean, you can give him the award. I have no problem with that, but I'm not going to... Can I'm we not give... going to give reasons as to why if I have a Triforce tattooed on my hand. <laughs> can, we give, can we give him a Cable Ace Award? I'm sure there are a couple of those are lying around somewhere. <laughs> no, I, um, Legend of Zelda is the greatest adventure series of all time. See? Mm-hmm. So, give him all of the awards. Everything will be okay. <laughs> because if you don't, he's just going to come in your house, smash all of your jars... <laughs> and cut all of your bushes. And oh, then good. Oh. I, need, I need some bushes cut. But I'm Because the bad. only thing he's ever done good <clears throat> to a neighbor's house is uh, delete or is cutting the grass. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. when, when reached for comment, Link said, hot, hot. <laughs> No, no. Uh, actually, when, when, he was, he says. when he was reached for comment, he did say something. Well, excuse, excuse me, excuse princess. Me, princess. <laughs> That's the only thing Lincoln said. <clears throat> Sadly. Yeah, no, when, when, when reached for comment, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Link's agent, Navi, said, yeah. hey, 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 listen. listen. All right. Come down. Can we move on to the awards now? Yes. No. no. All right. All right. Please. The awards. The first award up, I want, I want to go around and get everybody's pick for, the, for the, uh, each, each category. Um, the first category is the best original game of the year. That means best new IP that was just created this year. Watch Dogs. Okay. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I second Watch Dogs, but uh, close second would be, uh, I think it came out this year, A Wolf Among Us. Yeah, that came out this year. Mm-hmm. Good game. Sork, what about you? Best new IP? I, I guess w- not having played it, um, Watch Dogs seems to be the most interesting thing I've seen in the year. I mean, you know, we do have a lot of sequels. So, um, you know, actually, Bioshock Infinite came out this year, right? Or is no, that last it came year? out last oh, year. That was last year. Okay, never mind. Um, September of last year, I No, think. Watch Dogs, I think, is the biggest thing. Nothing nothing really original has popped up that, that I've wanted to I snag. got one. Okay. That's oh. different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sunset Overdrive. Ooh. That's my pick for best oh, original game. Can this I? Year. And maybe this is a stretch. Um, actually, I, I've thought of one that I've been really excited, and I actually got the expansion pack recently, and, and started jumping back into. Uh, mm-hmm. Can I put one out for Monument Valley? Valley? 
Yeah, somebody mentioned yeah, that so, on. Uh, yeah, uh, my year. friend Larry actually uh, picked uh, because Monu- that Monu- is, um, you know, much. But we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And speaking of Monument Valley, right. our, our next category is the best mobile game of the year. Mm-hmm. So what are your picks, guys? Kim Kardashian Hollywood. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank uh, you. Thomas was alone. <laughs> what was that? Thomas was alone. Oh, yeah. Good yeah, that, was a good that was a good one. Uh, but in all fairness, I, th- I think I, th- I think. Supercard gets it for me. Yeah, me too. That's the one I picked. Supercard. Uh, I played it the most this year, and and I play, Although I did play uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, or not Simpsons Hit, Hit and Run. Simpsons, wow. Simpsons tapped out a lot more. Out. Um. Oh, and and then late late entry. If it would have come out earlier in the year, I probably would have picked it. But and I didn't play it as much as Supercard. But Roller Coaster Tycoon Four Mobile. Another really good one. If you guys haven't played that yet, I'd suggest picking it up. Man, man, man. I, yeah. I have so many games here that I want to give this to, <laughs> but I got to go with Money Event Value, I guess. <laughs> nice. Uh, can I, maybe uh, since I already kind of mentioned that for new IP, uh, can I give a secondary honorable to uh, Hitman Go? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. really oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Really good. Another one I need to jump into some of the expansions that, that recently came out. So. I thought Chachi would pick none and none, none and gun. None, nope. yeah. <laughs> none and gun was a good game, but uh, um, Thomas was alone was by far the best mobile game that I've played this year. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, from top to bottom, the all-around, well-rounded experience in a in a mobile game. Nice. All right, our next one category is best third-party game. That means not system exclusive. It means any system, every system has it. Mm-hmm. So, what are your choices or what are your picks? Any system. Any system. As long as it's a third party developer. So, not Nintendo, not Sony, not Microsoft. Yeah, not, yeah, not oh, Nintendo, okay. Sony, or, or uh, Microsoft. This is the one's tough. Watch Dogs. Okay, yeah. good choice. <laughs> that's, that's a good, good one. Um, Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2. Good choice. Sorg? Uh, I've been playing nothing but GTA 5, but that's not from this year. Um, oh, although it, could although it kind of got replaced. Uh, it yeah. it kind of got re-released, so it's kind of still relevant. Mm-hmm. I'll, 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 I'll include that one. Okay, because, I mean, for me, uh, that's that's yeah, my Bobby best one of the year. Bobby will allow it. That's easily my best one of this year, because uh, that's the one I've had the most experience with. So. All right, um, and I went with Dragon Age Inquisition mm-hmm. as mine. So, a, a, a quality game. Okay, okay, for these next... Uh, a bit so, early for a big quality game. For first party, do are we disqualified if we don't... Like, like I feel like I can't answer um, if I don't own some of these systems. If you, if you choose <laughs> not to answer, you, you don't have to. Because I feel weird saying, oh, of course, Mario Kart. I've never played Mario Kart. Yeah, um, played, you know. Okay, well, well, speaking of Mario Kart, our, uh, mm-hmm. our next one is best Nintendo game of the year. Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. Mario Kart, <laughs> uh, Mario Kart Riz, 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 Riz can answer that. Riz, Riz, he is, the man. Has, Riz is the man on this you. one. I, Mario Kart 8 slightly edges out uh, Hyrule Warriors right now. Mm-hmm. Now, um, Mad Mike, and I don't know which one he's saying this for, but he's saying in the chat room, um, Captain Toad's Treasure Trackers. Ooh. Oh, that's for Wii U. Yeah, that's for, Wii U. for the Wii U. Yeah. Um, he also had a, had one out there for um, uh, WWE Supercard, presumably for the mobile mm-hmm. game. So, yeah. Um, so th- um, there's a second opinion, at least on Nintendo. My Nintendo game of the year is uh, Super Smash Brothers, but for the 3DS, because that's the game I've been playing for Nintendo all year, so far. It's fun. I enjoy it. Chachi, you got one? Um, yeah, the Legend of Zelda for 3DS. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> Chachi, Chachi, what are you doing? Chachi, Chachi what are you doing? By a shiny thing. <laughs> uh, I was playing GTA Five. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All Mad right. Mike is big on uh, actually on the best for Nintendo is uh, uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah, there's lots yeah, of expletives that, and caps. Yeah, I, I that's the thing is I never I haven't gotten Smash yet. I got I got it for 3DS, not for Wii U. So and I'm planning on getting it, but I you know why wanted... Smash Brothers isn't the best Nintendo game for this year? Hmm. Because it's Smash Brothers. Oh no! Oh. Ooh. Wow. As he looks off into the distance. Ooh. And back to the tier. Is Smash Brothers your Capcom? <laughs> or your uh, Street Fighter 5? 
the Smash Brothers hasn't changed since it started. So, True. I mean, what's the point? It's the same game as it's come out. Same with Mario Kart. Mm. Same game. Nah, Mario Kart changes every once in a while, though. It, but it, it's it, like he said, like, it's pretty much. Like, I agree with you on Smash. Brothers. I was shocked how similar. Again, not playing the new one. How similar the Wii and the GameCube ones were. Shocked. Mm. Like it for for me, the Wii U. I I can plug that in. Pop in, you know, like I mentioned on 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 my article. Uh, I can pop that in on uh, any time I want, play Mario Kart, and still have a fresh game. Mm -hmm. Like it, it just seems like there's always something for me to do on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and even with the new DLCs, with the with Link and e coming out with the Animal Crossing one guys too, uh, it's just new stuff to do. It's, it's pretty cool. All right. Uh going to move on to our next game, uh, or our next award, which is Sony Game of the Year. Ooh, man, uh, Riz, you have higher stakes in this than we do. Yeah. I'm trying to think of... Are we talking about Sony Original, or just... Um, yeah, Sony from Sony Studios. Or, or exclusive to, to uh, the, the, play, the me, PlayStation me, 3 or 4. Me, me. I haven't picked up really a exclusive game yet, so... Okay. Mm. Well, what's what's your favorite game on uh, Sony? Oh, so far? Unity, but you know that's that's out Didn't of question. Didn't you pick up the show? Oh yeah, I, I did pick up the show. How's that? Uh, it's okay. It's terrible. It, it's a it's a ba <laughs> it's, it's not too great. It's a baseball game, <laughs> but it is it is better than RBI baseball. I the, the new I RBI know. baseball. The new oh, RBI that, yeah. baseball. That that's not really much though. No. <laughs> So let's be honest. Nothing beats the original RBI baseball. No, nothing beats you. I'm nope. I'm gonna pull a sword here. Oh, what? Oh what? Uh, for for my Sony game of the year. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go, also go with a remastered game, The Last of Us, remastered. Because, damn, that game was good. Yeah, you told me to get that game a lot. <laughs> I did, and you Boom, didn't watch it. Me. What? Wow. <laughs> what are you doing, Josh? Boom! Arguing in the chat room with Mad Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There is just, activity. He said that uh, it's, he said that Zelda is the same game. No, no said, it's no, not. Zelda has different stories every time. Zelda it changes like, every year. Have he you... said it has the same mechanics? In which I said your argument is invalid by your logic. Smash Brothers is just a fighting game. Link um, got the, the the award for awesomeness and digital boom. achievement. So. Actually, I dis I disagree with Mad Mike. Uh, <sighs> Iron Warriors. Totally different game. Yeah. Hit my music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, our, 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 our next one is the Microsoft <laughs> game of the year. I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. What 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 are your picks for Microsoft game of the year? Uh, what did Microsoft release this year? Halo? Yeah. Uh, Halo. A um, couple other ones. Um, no. No. Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. This is Microsoft game of the year. <laughs> uh... All right. <laughs> I, I will give my Microsoft game of the year, which is Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, that, that's the only game. It was exclusive to, 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 to Microsoft. It's the only game uh, I really know was a Microsoft exclusive. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't get Halo yet. I probably will, though. That's a remastered collection as well. And I probably won't open it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they also had Titanfall, too, which none of us played yet. I, I played. Oh, you played it? Okay. Like... Titanfall? Yeah. I think I'm the only one who has played that. I um, have it, but I haven't played it yet. Jeez. <laughs> so, there's that. Well, I right, didn't. And, and, and our next category, since we didn't really have a lot of play, uh, Microsoft love this year, uh, the best PC game of the year. Sorg, you want to start Ooh, us off with this one because you played some PC games? I played some PC games, but they're all from like last year, and so. <laughs> so See, this is why I this mean, is why we should have Lunchbox on to tell us about what his pick. I mean, Lunchbox, do you here. Lunchbox? Would you like to is tell he us? Is you, you Lunchbox? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I know, oh. I know, I know. You don't have the headphones. Oh. No, just come on over here. Oh. Just come on over here. here. <laughs> Lunchbox, where are you going? Here, put the, here Lunchbox, I, no. I want you to talk to him. Uh, and I'll just have you here. Here, I want to give you this whole thing. Oh, okay. Don't um, don't press any you, buttons. You you, you you built a, a PC in this past year, right? Yes. And you're playing a lot of kind yes. of newer games. What is your game? Some of for Hamper Game of the Year. At least. 
Um, hamper game of the year? Is that what you said? Yes, because he owns a high-end hamper. Right. Tell, tell us what's, what's your favorite PC game of the year. Uh, I've logged so many hours on Shadows of Mordor. Okay. Um, just a just a ridiculous amount of time playing that. I love Dragon Age Origins so far, but have had very little time to play it because it's the busy season. <laughs> um, and uh, Don't Starve. Don't Starve is wonderful. I will not. Cool. There, there's nice pizza over here. Um, Unfortunately, that's not exactly testing the limits of my uh, thousand dollar gaming rig. I got one. Chachi just turned like a Bond villain. <laughs> I got one. Switch over to me, Sword. Hi, Riz. Um, the one of the games that I played this year, uh, right. pretty good, is uh, called Speedrunners. Okay. It's just one of those little platforming beat your opponent game and it's just all multiplayer all the time and uh on my laptop it can play good game it can play adequate or good time like I, I have no lag when it comes to that so your pc game of the year is adequate <laughs> yeah well that's the thing uh, i can't really play much because my laptop yeah. is my, my, laptop my laptop sucks too but my game of the year for PC is <laughs> Peggle 2, because I can play it. <laughs> Chachi, what about you? What's the question? Uh, PC game of the year. PC game for the year? Yeah. Uh, what uh, you're, mu- you're muted. Oh. I can't be muted. How am I muted? You, I don't it, you, know. You, you muted. You were no, muted. I didn't. You were... Yeah. It, it muted for some reason. Oh. I said buy an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> that is the PC game of the year. <laughs> yes, buy an Xbox. All right. Um, let's see here. Sorry, Tony's being a dick in the chat room now. Okay. He's, okay, he we're gonna. That, uh, he said that um, Mario and Zelda both suck. Oh. Uh, Street Fighter for the win. Oh. So I told him that uh, I had some explicit words and that street fighter <laughs> doesn't deserve the sweat from my balls I, lo- I like how the 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 video game awards have uh, waken woken up the chat room uh, it is and they're the participating That's great. um all right, uh, the, street the fighter was one, never better than it was street fighter was never better better than it was during uh capcom versus snk2 perfect sorry mm-hmm. unpopular opinion but that's that, my no, favorite no, street fighter no. game street fighter that, 4 was awesome nope street fighter 4 was great if you need me, I'll be moderating the chat room. <laughs> and, by, and by moderating, I mean pissing off our loyal fan base. By the way, we, we thank right. everybody for, you know, sticking with us for 123 yeah. episodes. Please yeah. stick around for more. Go on. It was fun doing this show for 123 episodes. <laughs> Guys, can, I we, have a... <laughs> can, we, can, we take, can we take the Nintendo DeLorean in the future? <laughs> our, our next category is most anticipated game. Mm, 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 me, 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 me. Ooh, okay, ooh, Riz, ooh, go ooh, ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me the wine. Take the lid off. Give it to me. <laughs> What's going on? I We're want my control. wine. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. Bloodborne. Okay. Riz loves Bloodborne. Okay. No, we're not. We're just bleeding right into it. <laughs> Sword. I'm going to go with Street Fighter Five. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Where, where am I sit, doing? sit. What am I doing? Most antici- anticipated game of the year. Most anticipated, yeah, most anticipated game of the year. year. Well, what are you like going into the next year? Why are these yeah. all messed up? Why are we Papa yeah. Lunchbox? Yeah, why am I? Papa I clicked lunchbox? on that one because that's where you sat down. The- this- <laughs> Have I been Papa Lunchbox the entire no, time? No, look, now you're Riz. Yeah, I got a Riz one because I thought he was going to be over here. What, are we talking about most anticipated for 2015? 2015. Um. Wow. Great answer. <laughs> World, of, World Warcraft, of Warcraft, everybody. Ooh, Warlords of Dream. I'm still waiting for my game that makes me want to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation. Bloodborne. Oh, I know what mine is. Seriously, I know what mine is. Um, do you guys remember Overwatch? I am hey, totally awesome. excited for that game. It's the Blizzard exclu- or the Blizzard uh, uh, first-person shooter one. That looks fun. Why? Why are you looking at him no. like that, Sorg? Sorg, no. <laughs> Thurg's making the happy face at Riz. <laughs> <laughs> I've been violated. <sighs> I agree with Mad Mike. What did what Mike, Mike say? What did Mike, Mike say, say now? Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I can fully agree with him on that. 
Um, if it's not that, then it's obviously the next Legend of Zelda game. Zelda U, which looks yeah. amazing, by the way. That looks fun. Because, you know, open world Zelda is the Nobody same would, game as yeah. Zelda Ocarina of Time, just in case you were curious. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to move on to our publisher of the year. Oh, come on, Bobby. How many of these awards are there? There's, there's two, we got four, three there's more. There's seven more. Three more. Uh, publisher of the year, Ubisoft. Done. Move on. Yeah. That's what I was going to pick, too. <laughs> Ubisoft. Even though they kind of dropped the ball with Unity. Um, Shut your... N- was, no. No. Watch Dogs made up for it. Watch Dogs. Well, with all the, all the problems and stuff. Uh, that's what I mean. Have you, uh, have you come across the problems yet, Bobby? What yes. Sucks. Okay. I started playing it. I don't know. It wanted me to steal an apple at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Blasphemy. <laughs> All right. How um, dare they, Bobby? And uh, our next one is console of the year. PC. Ooh, you know. I. You're listen, gonna be surprised. Listen, I have you're gonna be to surprised say, about this, Riz. Listen, I have to say PC okay. because I spent a thousand dollars on it, so it's PC. <laughs> <laughs> Move along! Riz, you're, you're, you're going to be surprised by mine, but I'm going to say PlayStation 4. You know... It, I didn't buy one based on my hatred for my PS3, but I they had a good year, and I got to give it to them. I, I know somebody who had a better year. Okay. <sighs> Nintendo. Nintendo? Okay. Like, when, when both... they, they did have a good year this year. <laughs> when, when both of... Both, you know... Uh, Microsoft and Sony were butting heads. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nintendo was in the background just going, all right, we're going to release this. And then we're going to release, uh, we're going to release Mario Kart. And then we're going to tell these guys that there's going to be a new Legend of Zelda game. Not only that, there's going to be a new version of Legend of Zelda that nobody has seen before. Yep. And not, not only that, it's going to be open world. And their heads are going to explode. They had a very good E3, even though they really didn't have a presence at E3. They made me <laughs> buy a Wii U first. Yeah. I haven't yet, but I may in the future here. Mm-hmm. All right. Chachi, you got one? You said Xbox. Yep. Sorg, do you have one? Sorg. Sorg, go back on the couch. Do you have one? What? Uh, uh, console, console of the year. Console of the year? Console of the year. Yeah. I agree with Nintendo. Okay. Um, yes. Nintendo. I don't. Sorry, I don't have a headset, so you guys are commenting. Um, Wait. Well, let me just say, um, no, Nintendo seriously, like, is the wow. Well, maybe is the, is the time, <clears throat> and it's stronger than most of the years of the Wii, to mm-hmm. be honest. Okay. We won on concept. Wii U is winning on games. Yes. So, mm-hmm. and they had a really good one-two punch with Mario Kart and Smash Bros. I still think they're missing a lot of. There's nothing new. Like, what's the Big innovative thing for this, you know. Um, they, uh, uh, I feel like uh, we the, had more of that. The, the, so. the squid one, Splatoon, oh, whatever. Uh, Splatoon. Splatoon. That Splatoon. looks like a new yeah. fun property yeah. for it's, Nintendo. It, 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 that is true. It didn't happen this year. But, but that's that's potentially it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For me. Oh, still uh, you guys, still. you guys have been talking about Nintendo a lot. Uh, you haven't mentioned the 3DS at all. Yeah, that's I, I did. Popular. I uh, did. I was. I'm sorry. I didn't have headphones earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's um, been pretty popular, and really, who else mm-hmm. is doing handheld gaming? You're, you're so right, Sorg. You're, you're, yeah. you're so right, Sorg. It says Sorg. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> All right. right. Um, we got two categories left. Um, the listener game of the year. That means uh, our, all our fans Wait, out there, uh, some of them uh, sent in their picks for game of the year. What, um, Sorg? Larry, G- <laughs> Larry Getz uh, said Monument Valley. No, seriously. Uh, so to go with what Sorg said earlier. Um, Alex Cars said Goat Simulator. Yeah, yeah. Which which is a good pick. Uh, Watch, Jubilee, uh, Jubilee, our, our, one of our friends, uh, said Watch I'll go with uh, Warlords of Draenor. Uh, Blizzard did really well this year. Oh, Octodad. I love that one. Um, and uh, Buddy Landell said Destiny for his pick. Mm. Um, but now it's our, t- our turn uh, to give us our game of the year. Uh, guys, what'd you pick? Oh. Chachi, we'll start with you since we already know what you picked. <laughs> Um, not watched. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of things you gotta consider when oh, you're yeah. picking yeah. game of the year. Yeah, exactly. Um, story, concept, mm-hmm. uh, originality, gameplay, 
watchdogs. Yeah, Riz, go ahead. I'll go ahead on this one. Uh, There's a tie for me. Okay. I I kind of had a tie too. Like on on one hand, you have Destiny, which is which is good, and Mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's an amazing concept, and it's amazing look to look at. And the storyline may be a little you know cut and dry, but they are improving nonstop on that thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, But also, there's that game that I've been that I've played since its release. In March, mm-hmm. nonstop for probably five months, five or six months. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, and that's Dark Souls Two. Nice. I, I you guys saw how excited I was when I defeated Dark Souls Two. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and we give you kudos for doing that because I damn near can't do that you know you I would, know I'd, I'd pee my pants. and and not only that i still have the dlc to get to <laughs> i still have to beat the freaking king that keeps on walking around um and i have to beat beat this giant dragon that nobody seems to want to beat it um so it's just one of those things where i can't pick a winner bet- besides those two didn't they release G- DLC for that, like, recently? They did. Like, today? Today. Maybe. Today? Maybe today. I, I didn't know that. I have Lunchbox yelling um, in the background. But, yeah, um, I, I don't really have a clear-cut winner for Game of the Year on this one. Okay. I really didn't either. Um, I picked two. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition is one of mine, but since it was so early in my playthrough, um, I really enjoyed it so far. But it's kind of a little early to give it Game of the Year, even though it won Game of the Year at the Video Game Awards. Um, but my other pick is kind of like one that I didn't really talk about tonight, but uh, um, South Park Stick of Truth. Oh, really? Mm. I, it, it was seriously one of the funnest games I had played in the in this year, I, I played, I beat it, I went the whole way through it. Um, I started a second playthrough. Um, it, it just had it was it was like you were playing an episode of South Park or a movie of South Park. You know, mm-hmm. it, it felt it, it felt that crisp and that that smooth to me. Um, so that was that was my picks for game of the year. Hmm. It so, wasn't a bad game. Um, yeah, it was it was a good game. It, it just it I, new IP. Mm-hmm. Is what I look for in a game of the year. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, you can give game of the year to any game based on it came out this year, mm-hmm. but I don't want rehashes. I want new stuff. Yeah, but if a game improves on itself, like Dragon Age did, I think like, one thing for me, I look for innovation, and and again, this this kind of like I didn't pay a lot of new games, obviously, this year. Um, on consoles, but mm. I look at the monument values in the Thomases alone that Chachi mm. spoke of. Um, I think that's one of your innovation is. I think mm-hmm. I think you know the big you know instead of the what are you doing to my dog? <laughs> instead of the big, <laughs> or I'm just gonna mute them. Instead of the big like multi million dollar you know GTA fives and Call of Duties, mm. like you know let's look at some of these smaller games and see what they're doing to kind of change it. You know, so oh, that's my thought. Like those, I, those are kind of my co game of the year ish uh, uh, things, suggestions. So, all right. Well, that is going to do it for us this year. Uh, we want to thank everybody for the wonderful year we had. Uh, special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR for handling. Lunchbox, do you have one? Oh, oh, Lunchbox. I didn't know you were still participating. Do you have a game of the year? I probably spent. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's get on the bike. Come on. <laughs> I guess I know which one he's going to pick. Come on. Okay. Hi. In all, on, nope. no, in they're, they're, all, can we, can we, yeah. in all honesty this year, I've probably spent more time. Yep. All right. Let's. <laughs> I've probably yep. spent more time playing Supercard than anything else. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. 
And I'm a little, I'm like 20% ashamed to admit that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought you picked Shadows of Mordor, but you picked that for PC games. No, yeah, saying. no, I spent a lot of time on Shadows of Mordor, but I can't take that to work with me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or play on the toilet. That's the, that's, that's, that's the big thing. Can you play it on the toilet? Shadows of Mordor doesn't have a King of the Ring mode. No, it doesn't. doesn't have a toilet I have mode. I to set a timer. <laughs> All right. But anyways, uh, special thanks to at, uh, at Mike Allen PR for helping us with the notes and tweets all year. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter on at InsertCoin TV. Uh, you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. Uh, new articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, uh, starting in January again. Uh, we're taking a two-week break, but we're going to have special episodes like we're going to try to do a Cards Against Humanity episode. Nice. <laughs> uh, so that'll be a fun, th- fun thing. Uh, so um, for at Sorgatron... The at- articles will still be yes, going up on the yes, website. Yeah, they will. Yep. Um, uh, for at Sorgatron, at Chachi says, at the Riz, I'm uh, at Bobby FJ Town. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.